Yo. Yo, what's up? Dude, do you see the Zyrocon? Oh. My god, this guy is OP and they finally realize it. Yeah, that's oh, funny. Kaisa! That was a late pick. He wasn't sure on that one. Oh. Damn, uh -oh. I think they're... I think they've been headshot by the looks of that. Hunter Thieves deep in their Google Docs. Kaisa's fine. I actually surprised there hasn't really been any. I mean, I don't think she's bad, but... With deranged Meta? Meta? Muta? Ooh, Fiora, I like it. Ooh. Harder to play team fights with this kind of comp, though. What is Bagurgensen gonna go? Talia? Hmm, I don't know if I like Talia here. I feel like she's not good against huge tanks. Hmm. Not horrible, but. I, it just seems like if she's not ahead, like ha, ha, one of the richest in the game, she just does not do relevant damage. Uh huh. But I mean, if you get ahead and you have like Sork Boots and like the Rod Seraphs build, you're actually like tanky enough to get close enough to like get picks and shit. Yep. I mean, maybe her E kind of counters her comp. Holy shit, melee supports. It's not even the new patch. Oh. How could they pick Nautilus when Varus support is up? What the fuck? I think I like Fly's draft a little better, traditionally. It's literally just the fucking meatball gangbang your ass draft. But I mean, Zaya, I think 100 Thieves has like a decent response to it. They're just going to kite. I think both Zaya's comps good look good. It. Yeah, I don't think either one's bad. If anything, it might be pretty hard for Fly because of Zaya. That might be pretty hard. Uh, dude? What? Dude? I think this is the double lift 1v9. If he doesn't feed early, yeah. He can. Zaya is so fucking strong. I think anytime a bot lane picks Zaya or a Khan, they should kiss each other in champ select. <laughs> like the pictures or the players? What's your game time? 25? 26, seven. I'm like a few seconds behind. I'm 26, Pause. 7, Waiting. 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, okay. 3. Should be good. Oh. Ah, uh, not... See, dude, Impact's too smart for this trash. Yep. A lesser player lets his jungler get fucked out of the game. Yeah, that's what you are saying as a counter. You just... <laughs> Go yeah, fucking you just shit on him for trying it. <laughs> yeah, he even got like the four stacks of the sedge thing on him. Like, depending on how low the red was, if Spika could have finished the red and then like flash stunned him off that, he could have even died. <laughs> yeah, actually, probably not. Cause... It'd be hard, but he could. I mean, the the fact that Impact doesn't have flash, like if Tenacity's Q gets him over the wall, Impact literally can't follow. Yeah. Wait, Spika's really gonna wait this long? More than three seconds? No, I mean, his Q's a 20 second cooldown. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. 100 Thieves planning is so insane. They just know. They just eat the bush. Uh, another one. Holy shit, dude. dude. He knows, bro. Both junglers Ooh. have played with Bjergsen before. They're like, I know. Double of Mr. Root, dude. Is he even trying to win? Why is Spika want going for this head? blue? Is this real? I don't think so. I mean, both just are die. a pretty decent way of securing it. Can Spika just die here? I guess not. He's got Silas move. Oh! Oh! Lucio! Oh! That was level 3 gap, I think. It's fine. Neither ADK got a kill. It's still on. Busio flashed out while ignited. He still died. <laughs> yep. Dude, I, I swear this was the thing that I happened so often. And the last time I saw this bot lane meta, it was like the bot lane with heal ignite just like wins lane. Versus mm -hmm. the bot lane that has like 
the other random shit. Because if you go into support, the cleanse doesn't help him. Oh! Hey! Okay. Yes! Yeah, yeah, solo. Getting the solo kill. The opposite of the sneaky predict. Holy fuck. How did he beat me? That's pretty impressive, solo killing impact. You do not see that shit often. Yeah. He big men. Uh-oh. He no way. Is he, is he gone actually dead? Oh my god, he's dead. Wow. Holy oh my shit. goodness. And the wave. Is the wave still pulling? Making oh, impact yeah. Actually, feed. Hold up. Yo. This might be kind of doomed. It's actually BG. Holy shit, that's a bright ass screen. It really is. Perfect vitals. Huh. No flash on either. Impact still no flash. They should really punish him while he doesn't have flash. <laughs> Somehow Vikla got off an entire reset up on Bjergsen. Like, look at the items. Both still have TP. Mm. That is weird. Wow, when they get the dragon. How did that happen? What did Bjergsen do? Not sure. Surely he recalls now. Maybe, maybe it's just the timing. Like, he just got his little fucking catalyst. What is this thing called? Catalyst of the Aeons or some shit? I don't know. God, I wasn't sure if it started with the Aeon word or whatever it is. Oh. Maybe. I was saying he's going to stay for, like, Lost Chapter, but he went tier, amp, huh. amp, boot. He definitely had enough for Lost Chapter. Yeah. One tier, I guess. And was forced to buy shit around the tier. Yeah. I don't know if you really care about that. Like, I don't know if you even reach Seraphs in gold before you complete the tier. Yeah. You could just go Lost Chapter. Oh, he as a the cannon. As a professional mid main now. Hmm. But he just recalled. Now he's recalling again. Now he's got the chapter. All right. Ooh, that's good for the tempo. <laughs> we'll see yeah, if it guys, goes punished or not. We're not, not going to have any pressure for about two minutes. But then I'll have my lost chapter. And probably still won't have pressure, but I'll have a lost chapter. I mean, it, this game looks pretty uneventful. So, I mean, yeah. we'll see what Salas does with this move here. Or if he even pushes. Salas has had pressure for the landing phase. But, I mean, Talia is... Like, really dog shit early game. The fact that he's going even in CS and, like, I guess the only real thing they got off the mid-pressure was... Oh, oh my so god, he actually gets him killed. His boosie is getting fucking stretched, man. Wow. That was kind of fucked up. Well, I mean, once Bergen's level 9 and, like, has his Mythic, I think we're going to see the mid matchup flip pretty hard. Oh, Spika. Oh, oh and he's dead. gone. Damn, good gank. He didn't even... Oh, oh Sipo. Sneaky would have hit that. Yep. Sneaky but Silas. Closer was trying to sneak Harold during that. Ooh. Sneaky Silas certified banger. Bro, this game's actually gonna roll into Tenacity's hands to carry. That's kind of fucked up. Yep. As a Fiora. That is not what you want to see. He's the youngest. Yeah, it it is hard for Fiora to carry this kind of game. I don't know, though. Like, Fiora is actually good at killing tanks. Just the thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, she I feel like really her team fighting is not as bad as people make it out to be. It's only bad if she's trying to play like a frontliner. Oh. Oh, he survives the all out. Oh. Oh. Q at him. Oh, he did it. <laughs> he listened. Dude, it was crazy. My DMV appointment was instant. 
showed up, nice. got the business done, and left. What did you do? ID update? Yeah. Changed it to Nevada. Got my license plate. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Spica my god, got he got it! That's... I don't know if that's worth, actually. It's not very good. Lose the whole fight afterwards? Okay! That's a comeback. Pretty good for 100 Thieves. Oh, wait, Impact yoinked the Herald. Oh, he got oh, it. Oh, my yeah. dude. Nah, if, if I'm playing Cassante against Fiora with these items, it's time to open it up. Ooh. If Yikes. I'm Impact, I'm buying... I'm buying Moby Boots if I have enough. If I don't have enough, I'm selling what I need to to buy it, and then I'm running bot lane. <laughs> Divine Sundere. Dude, fucking closer doesn't to the actually rocks. have his smite upgrade. Seems so like he didn't really have a chance on that one. Mm. Wait, double rooted there? Why they look so weird? Oh, I'm pulling back a sec. Oh no, it's the fucking Maokai ult. Dude, like, I couldn't even see the Maokai ult in the fucking replay there. It was weird. I saw, like, the, the very left one, but I didn't see the the ones that hit Kaisen and Nautilus. Yeah. Quite hidden. It's the skin, man. It's just broken. Huh. Contesting it through boss. Dude, I this must be something that Doublelift specifically calls for, or maybe it's something that, like, Doublelift Bjergsen do, because, like, every team they're on, like... To walk together bot side. dragon through bot side like this, and, and you don't see it very often. Oh. Oh. oh, Prince goes in. And he doesn't die. The AD carries, fucks got each other. Eagle battle. Oh. Dude, Prince just keeps ulting on Busio. Is Busio tries to get out? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's actually rare to see. Like, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I... Wait, what the fuck? Did you see... Do you see this dude's build? What is he building? Prince? He had... Did he just have four long swords? Did I see that right? Does he not want boots this game? He had four long swords. A quiver and a pickaxe. No, he had three, and then he bought a fourth? Holy shit. <laughs> It's for a Q upgrade, no? Not four of them. Hmm. You need, like, two, I'm pretty sure. You go Kraken, and then you have two. I see. I don't know, maybe... No boots is weird looking. Maybe three gives you it before Kraken or something. Mm -hmm. Dude, this gold, the gold is so even. 26 gold lead. That's like one minion last hit. I was going to ask, where'd you see the 26, but I see it now. I mean, this game is looking real good for 100 Thieves. That door is going to be very hard to deal with. It's so even, but yeah. But the, I mean, the thing is, like, most of the deaths for 100 Thieves are on Busio, and the half FlyQuest kills are on... Canassi wins this. Just turn, 2v1. Oh, yeah? Oh my god, he's healing. Oh! Okay, never mind. He doesn't win it. Sedge got the kill. Where's Meteo set, huh? What do you mean? Easy Fiora game? Dude? Dude? What? 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 Fight the good fight. Not a bad shift from 100 Thieves, though. Like, they get... It doesn't allow you to make any they had a death, but then they end up getting topside control for the Herald, and they just have tenacity to go bot side. The only indicator I can see damage for Herald spawning yeah. is the one on the map. Huh? I said the only indicator for Herald spawning is the one on the map. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Get the flash out of Winsome. Pretty good. Bit of a misstep for him. I think FlyQuest should just give this and go set up Dragon. What does Hundred Thieves do off this? I guess keep Tenacity top. I feel like you play for top tier two at this point, maybe. You can just pressure mid top really hard. Yeah. But I mean they they have the option of contesting Dragon if they want to. I wouldn't recommend it. 
don't want to contest this drake they could probably just use the herald force the fact that they're resetting makes me think that they are going to contest the dragon otherwise they're just going to be late on the top play right yeah i, I can't tell like th that seemed like a really weird reset timing for 100 thieves yeah i feel like they totally could have I mean, stayed herald in top and then they bailed but like i think because FlyQuest was Going for the trade, they should have stayed on the map and continued pressuring. Hmm. This won't kill turret or really get them off dragon. Oh, it is getting them Wait. two heat on though. Oh, big flank by Spika. Holy shit, he is so and deep. Vicla. This looks. This is disaster. Huge Zyalt, actually. Double lift is somehow just in the middle of their whole team untouched. Nobody wants to hit him. <laughs> Dude, they're scared as shit of double lift. Uh oh, both sums. Oh no, oh, he's dead. He's gone, he's gone. Oh, no. Tenacity's probably fine. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. They... Wait, it's close. Oh! Oh! Bjergsen? Kill him, kill him, Bjerg. Kill him, Bjerg. Get him! Holy <laughs> shit. What a fucking good play by FlyQuest. Dude, yeah, that was literally flank. the thing that Impact was talking about yesterday on the thing where he's like, you have remember when he was talking about finding Vi? That was legit the play that Speaker was doing. He was just hiding in the jungle, and you had this fucking insane flank. Like, look where Speaker's hiding. Yeah. They legit I, I double think TP it, flank here. Yeah, positionally, this was not good for Hundred Thieves. I'm surprised how long Double Lift was able to live here. They didn't like, even try to hit him. I feel like they didn't notice he was there or something. Like, <laughs> Oh, he does get Nautilus hook though. Huge hook. Yeah. Maybe if he flashed that, it would have been better. Scramble here, and here's the reset looking at Dragon still. Speaker's the one tanking two enemy. Damn, I, I think that was actually a pretty big mistake from Hundred Thieves. Like the reset and the and then I think if, I think just contesting the dragon at all is too sus. Like that's actually exactly what FlyQuest wants. It seems kinda cocky to even try that. Wait, they're actually on it somehow here. It's yeah. Okay. Pretty good to the ult. Oh wow. Oh, Prince is cut off. He could ult in. Oh god. Double is Giga. Double off his ult. Double off his ult. He has it soon. Okay, closer gets the dragon. They can't fight. Yeah, there's luckily there's no Baron up for Flyquest to run to. Is Bjergsen just dead? Yep. He's gone. He's got barrier. Oh. Oof. Honestly, better now than in 30 seconds. But it's not looking great for for 100 Thieves. Oh, okay. Guess maybe a support kill back. Maybe you can do anything here. Hold up, unless get banged in the wall for some reason. No flash. Kind of trolling. Oh my God. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, it's just so hard for Double to get in. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, hero play! What have you died? What have you died? Kill them all! Get him! Pull oh, the feathers! What? What? The feathers! Oh god. Oh no. Prince is just too good. Oh Jesus. The Prince! Yeah. Kind of a close situation. Ah. 100 Thieves seems to be losing losing control of the game a bit. The game is pretty much over, I think. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty fucked, but, like, I feel like it was okay until that last sequence. Like, that looked pretty disoriented for them. Like, yep. That, I mean, that's what happens when you feel the pressure. You start making mistakes. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right went, about the, the reset. Like, they kind of just... Oh, wait, another fight. What are they initiating for? For nobody. For fun. <laughs> Going in for themselves? The Maokai Rakan? <laughs> oh. But yeah, like, they didn't really have the position to do anything at that drag. They're kind of just like, yeah, we want Dragon, and then they, like, all right, let's reset for it. Yeah, I mean, they, they would have had to do what Impact was talking about, where, like, you go into the jungle and you find them and you push them out and, like, sweep everything. But even that would have taken a lot of time. I think they absolutely would have been okay to give third dragon and just, like, you can get actually get two top turrets. You have Herald, you have a fed Fiora. Like, I think that's yeah. what you want to play for. Like, actually turn Fiora into Thanos instead. 
went for the dragon contest, which I mean, I don't think it's like the worst decision ever, but it could work if the enemy's not, the not crazy set up for it. Yeah. Right onto him. Killer All game sounds off on that replay. <laughs> and even though Kaisa is the anti dive AD carry, when you're constantly getting a Prince Flash there. That was actually you know, decent from Tenacity to get the flash from I mean, him. Grab it. Ah, yeah, this looks doomed. They, they need them to throw. Wow, Flag was 8k gold up now. Jeez. Prince and Vic hold man. I mean, the thing I'm wondering is, like, could 100 Thieves have not won this game with their Fiora advantage if they just played through side? Like, just have Maokai, like, kind of hover Fiora perma, just putting saplings everywhere, and then it's like, that seems like it'd be so annoying for Fly to try to play against. <laughs> not, not necessarily don't fight, but just, I think Tenacity can just... Get a lot done. No, yeah, I, you're right. Like, you'll make it so Fly has to cover that lane, but then it's like annoying to cover it because you're perma getting Maokai sapling. If you don't cover it, Maokai Fiora just dives you, takes a turret on one wave. Oh, here's no flash, and he's gone. Yeah, I mean, they were able to kill Fiora one time when she overextended, but I mean, if you're saying like Maokai's hovering. A lot harder. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just feel like from the time you have a 3-0 Fiora with a Sunder that early, like that's actually a game-winning advantage. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I will say it's hard to win through top compared to the rest of the map, but I do think it's doable in this situation. Mm -hmm. it, he was for sure in the right condition. Bet as fuck. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh! Lift. No! Uh oh! It's over. Smoge. No! Don't give him the penna. Do not give him a fucking penna. Uh oh! You can't let Prince Penta. Penta against. Du oh, he died. oh, he died. He died. He died. Get shit on. Oh wait. Oh uh, wait. Actual throw. Wait a Actual sec. Actual throw. Winnable. 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 Hold up. What the fuck was that? Is he gonna get all of them? He might. Uh, I think oh! so, he's got blast guns. Ooh! Oh wait, he does have the jungle speed. He has the jungle bush speed. There's no cones though. There's where the cones at? Wow. So he got three. What a ridiculous way to throw the game. It's a lot of gold to Fiora. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure that's enough to actually lose, but that was a monster throw. They're like, yo, let's get the Penta. Oh, fuck, we all died. <laughs> Legit, dude. They're, they're like fucking... They have Penta goggles on right here. <laughs> oh, wow, they're on Baron. Let me get it. Heart of Thieves gets Baron. What a fucking heist. Can Fly do anything in response to this? Damn, a Baron Bounty's actually huge. Yeah. They've got Wait. a soul coming up in one minute. It's actually so close in gold now. Yeah, Bjerg probably has his Void Staff now. Where's double of five? Okay, almost three. Opponents, show behind. Yeah. Huh. Wow. They're gonna uh -oh. have to contest through mid. This but now spicy. this is that same. This is the same situation. Like they they can't let fly flank them. It's good they have tenacity marking the side like this. I think that's correct. I don't want to see him touch the bottom wave though. I think that's actually a trap. Yeah. Doesn't actually do anything. A bait. I think this concedes too much pressure. Oh. Closer, getting a little bit in that ass. Oh. Tenacity's just not here. It's over. Either Tenacity needs to be here or 100 Thieves needs to not. Wow. Oh, man. Sad. Well, he's proxying the wave. He's got to make a lot of time. Oh? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. He's legit against four tanks, dude. Like, can if, he find the vital? No. If he got oh. that, he would have killed them all. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. 
That would have been an insane hindlight to just kill everyone. Yeah. I think that's probably just game. I think so. I mean, Zai's up in five, but, but no ult though. Oh, they TP to save the minion. Yeah, it's over. Damn. A close game? Kind of. I mean, it was a good game. I think it just... Yeah. Kind of fell through their fingers. Damn, bro. NT. Why actually smoking and rolling LCS? Hold up. Yep. With a sub, like not even their main roster. Dude, it, it's it's actually just impact, bro. Every team impact is on just hardcore shits on everyone. <laughs> I guarantee it's not even just like his gameplay. It's like his game knowledge. I'm sure outside of the game, he like teaches people so much how to play properly. Yeah. It's absolutely game knowledge. I want to see when that the Herald incident. It was like 19 minutes or something, wasn't it? When they recalled. Yeah. Oh, it was before that. It was like 17. So I really think the game's fine. If they get the Herald, why do they need to recall this? But I don't get it. Bjergsen bases with full health, full mana. Busio bases. Like, three people based full health, full mana. I don't yeah. understand. Bjergsen picks up Merc Dreads. And they're baited by the try to go drag setup. I understand the thought process here. They're like, okay, we're going to summon Herald, get him to go mid, and then we'll take Dragon Control. Which, I mean, that is a pretty normal plan. I think what they may have overlooked is, like, FlyQuest doesn't have to five-man defend mid. Huh. So then, like, double if Bjergsen are mid with the Herald, because that's, like, you know, you want to pressure. But, I mean, it's just a weird situation, because, like, you do want to be here with the Herald and the next midwaves coming in. But, like, Maokai and Rakan are at Dragon. Like, they're so separated here. And Speak is, like, completely behind them. With wards behind them, too. I think the ward behind them is kind of huge, actually. Yeah. Two of them. Like, having a mid ward... I mean, they absolutely should know bottom side's warded. Whether or not they had the opportunity to sweep the mid ward... I mean, they could have. Maokai drops the Herald... You definitely have a sweep up there. Someone could pink it too. So like, I'm at 1630 when they get the Herald. Like, if you're thinking tempo things, like, this top wave coming in top at 1630, like, this is the wave you can use to keep going top. Yep. If you're gonna give Dragon, I think you give Dragon, like... I don't think anyone needs to recall here, honestly. Like, Cassante can get bot turret, like, who cares? Doesn't do anything. If they keep going bot, you have Herald, so it's faster. I think, I think they already gave Dragon by the time they did this in Herald. Yeah, I, th I think it was just... They're like, ah, we can't give Dragon, that's third for them. Like, we don't want to put them on soul point. I feel like yeah. that's probably what the comms were. But it's like, you're missing out on whether or not you can, like, actually stop it if the other team plays properly. Mm -hmm. And, like, maybe you can outplay the fight, but I don't think that's your best play here by, by any stretch. Against like a worse team, this will probably work. Yeah, I mean, if the other team fucks up, it's fine. Yeah. But Fly actually properly punishes. Sona? Renekton. Uh huh? Want lose Ed? Wow. If, if I'm playing Elise and the other team locks Sona, I have the. <laughs> biggest fucking hard on and I just cannot get rid of it. Oh. I suppose you could. Sky on, yo. Yo. TSM's comp looks uh looks decent. I don't know. I mean I feel like early merc treads for CLG is going to get a lot of value. True. 
Sivir's fairly low damage early in the game. Lulu doesn't do too much. Scion. Chase! At least Silas, the main damage dealers early and get quite cucked by MR. Palafox Jace? Hmm. Interesting. He is one of the mid laners who, like, has played it. He's not, like, first timing it. Hmm. He's definitely into me in solo queue on this pick several times. He's done what to you? Inted me. Oh. So he plays I don't know if it. it's still the case, but I used to, like, legit dread getting Palafox on my team in solo queue because he's just <laughs> the biggest enter. <laughs> like, we'll die to every gank. I must be there to counter. If I'm ever not there, he'll just die anyway. That does sound like Palafox from before. <laughs> he's been a while, though, for that. Yeah, he may be reformed now, but there was a while. He's a changed he was man. a bit of a demon. I wonder if their Renekton pick for CLG was legit just like a... I don't know what to blind pick top, and I don't want them to take Renekton at least into whatever I pick. <laughs> like, yeah, I actually think yeah, Renekton is decent here for that reason. It's just like, you know, you're playing against Elise. You just need to not run it down. <laughs> mm-hmm. That combo is pretty cringe, at least you're acting. It's super cringe, like... Guaranteed you can actually dove. be full HP under your turret, and you die. <laughs> to a point-and-click stun. How are we down 6 CS on Sivir? We're just fighting? Fighting instead Ooh, of farming? 6 CS, dude. However will they come back from 6 whole minions? Dude? Uh-oh. The legendary Scion of the East Dive. Where's the point click stun? Uh, there seems to be an extra man as well. Ooh. It doesn't even look clean at all. Oh, oh wait. This fucked. is one of the few times oh, uh, the God. mid laner keeping in actually did something useful. Wait. This is almost always the fattest end. Wait. Oh my god. But Palafox almost entered it back. Oh god, it's so bad now. Wait. Oh my god, that stun! Dude! Oh! Dude! Oh! Oh! Wait. Palafox had flash. What is this exchange? It's hype, but holy shit. <laughs> holy shit! I'm here, guys. Wow. That was some spice. Holy shit, look at Palafox's first item. Boots. I'm not sure Jace is the champion you want to do this on, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. That is wild, bro. Boogie played this pretty fucking badly, honestly. And then use the repel early, so he walked up into Renekton. He couldn't really get the cocoon, but he ended up... No, but I mean, if, if you can't get the cocoon, why start tanking? Like, you can just shoot the stun at him. Uh -huh. And then I don't know what the hell that second cocoon was. Yeah. But, like, you, you should always start with cocoon in that situation. Like, it doesn't even get you tower aggro. And if you whiff it, who cares? True. Like, you have nothing else that's going to start it. If you have something you can chain Cocoon off of, then sure, hold it. But most of the time in that kind of dive, you're going first. And if you're right in his face, too, like, he, he can't... You can try to make him flinch, which is what I think he was doing, but, like, you should probably not start tanking. Yeah. And they definitely felt like they were on a timer there. Yep. Which they kind of were, but... I don't know. All right, I've ordered my food. Let's go. No thanks to you. You're welcome. Oh. Uh-oh. Contracts, and he's gone. What a sad life. Salus uses your ult before you do. <laughs> Dude, CLG was listening about the Merc Treads. Literally hardcore rush it. It looks decent, but it makes your early game slow, I guess. Yeah, it feels weird to, like, actually first item it. 
Like ideally you'd want to like get it after your mythic or at least after some kind of good component like a dirk or something, but whatever. Oh wow, Pooh must have flashed that. Oh god. Oh. Dokla just fucking banged out. Harold's fully resetting. Oh, they still killed it somehow. Psych! CLG is... That's a pretty... Big mistake, honestly. Like, you're not contesting it, and you're not... Getting something elsewhere. Oh, they were contesting it. In some way. But, but not really. In Rene not, not Renekton was. Contest. Renekton was. He was, but his whole team wasn't there, and he got insta-banged. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait, I just realized they picked Sona against Silas. Good God. That's one of the yeah. best ults in the game for him. Oh. Oh. Not oh. going to kill him. Why not? Maybe Chime. You don't think he could have killed Neo there? I mean, because of Lulu. Mm. Lulu disengage. It was fine, though. True. I mean, he got two flashes out of his flash, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Top turret. Renekton losing his turret at 10 minutes. Unlucky. Is that how the matchup goes? Cyan versus Renekton? You're dove on every, uh, every big wave? Renekton against Cyan or least Silas, actually. <laughs> He's actually dove on every big wave as Renekton. That's yep. so fucked up. Though, like... How is he getting it waves is probably worth wondering, him? how do you stack a huge wave against a Renekton? Yeah, what the fuck? Hold up. I mean, it's, it's always hard. Like, when they have the better jungler, you want to... You don't want to contest too hard that you just die to a gank, but you also don't want to let them stack a huge-ass wave they can dive you on. Yeah. So, ideally, you want to, like, thin the wave as much as you can. Keep it on your side. And they get dove anyways. Yeah, then you get, you get dove anyway. <laughs> All right, so TSM going for the drag. There's no way CLG should contest this. That would be absolutely an end. <sighs> what are they going to do, though? I guess just keep control of their bottom side. Goof around. Yeah, I mean, they're getting Renekton gold, I guess. Sion just starts the dragon himself. He's sick of it. Oh. Wow, they're, they're oh, we fighting. Oh, we fighting. Is this real? It. Oh, big shock blast. Yeah, they're going to push him off. All right. You're doing decently here. Tissim's going to keep it aggroed. Okay, they get it. Solo's in. I'm not sure the rest of TSM wants to go in here. Oh my god, Boogie got fucking banged. So did Poom. She got Scion to death. Oh. oh. Renekton flank? Scion's not even dead. <laughs> Limp dick hmm. fucking Q. This is not going well for CLG. Nope. Damn, bro. Dokla is not having a chill game. <laughs> he used TP there. Yeah, he came in late as shit. Oh, it's because Silas TP'd the turret. I guess. I mean, couldn't he TP on the ward right there? Wait, he TP's to... It's not oh, it's not even 14. Yeah. Yeah. He can't even TP or here at all, honestly. Mm -hmm. He he should have just stayed top, I think, at that point. Yeah. This is Walks kind of like ults. this. This is one of the things that like teams mess up a lot, where you're just indecisive about what you want to do. And this is kind of the second time we've seen CLG do it, like with the Herald, where they kind of contest. Because TSM's committing more people to these plays, right? Like with the Silas TP. If you just don't fight and you just leave, and Silas wastes his TP, and I think it's a lot top, then you'll have TP later. But if you match it like that, then you don't get anything top. 
you also use your TP and you still lose the fight, so it's just <laughs> turns a bad situation into a horrible situation. Yeah. Usually it's just from the feeling of like I don't want to not be involved in the game. Yeah. Be like the guy's splitting. Like I can understand why people do it. Like the pressure will get to you. It's like you don't want to feel like you're not a team player. You want to at least be like, yeah, well, I tried. Like I did everything I could to, to help this situation. Yeah. But that's actually like a huge trap mindset when in reality it's better to just be like, okay, well, you know, that's fucked. But you have to tell your team about we it. You have something. Yeah, like you have to say like, yo, don't, try not to fight. Just, just give this. Mm -hmm. They probably just felt it was weird because it was like 4v4 and they weren't really sure if they could contest. I feel like what I would have... What could have been better for CLG there is if they, instead of Renekton going top, like they just had Renekton chilling mid and then Jace pushes top. Because the gold of a Jace just free pushing and like taking turrets is actually pretty relevant. And if Jace gets ahead, I think that's like actually a way to win the game. Yep. Renekton's definitely in the bone zone. Just never really going to be useful. Yeah, you just, you weak side the Renekton. Just, you should probably have Merc Shreds by now. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going for the contest. Doko oh flashing my. in. Holy! Okay, they got Sivir. Pretty good engage. But can they win the fight afterwards? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's Palafox coming in. They have to be able to chase, though. Yeah. Nice, nice. Good fight. Good nice fight. little Jace slow. Oh, no one's gonna die. Science too tanky. Nah, but Scion is just inv invincible, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, actually, really well played fight. Good Dokla initiation. Yeah, yeah, huge. He with, got Sivir before Mikhail. she could spell shield. Hard to fault Neo for that one. Like, just get flash insta stunned by Renekton. They didn't know he was there. Yeah, and you can't really be blamed to have like a 400 ms reaction time. Like, it's not your fault. Uh huh. Just born that way. Yeah, sneaky would have spell shielded this. Your, your reaction times are just bricked. They're pushing with Harold. I mean, they should recognize that no one in CLG is inside, so they know this is coming. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Ooh, just good CC chain there. Stun into Sona Alt. He's probably even thinking to himself that he's gonna like try and walk forward and take one with the shield. Whose Alt did Maple use this fight? I didn't see. I'll pull back. Maple's out of range. He grabs Sona's ult. And he ults okay. on Contract to Dokla. Okay. Well, actually, in professional baseball, they don't use metal bats. They use wooden bats, but you could use that. Why is that the case, actually? Or metal to OP? Way too fucking hard with metal, yeah. So metal's just like a... High school thing, middle school. Yeah. It's literally just so you don't hit the ball too fast. Mm. Uh oh. Oh my god. Dokla's getting dead. legit banged. Does he have Murchreds yet? Please tell me he has Murchreds. Man, contracts get banged. And, and again, dude, like, Palafox, he, Palafox isn't actually accomplishing anything here. It's like. Just jacking He's off not looking there at the, for the fight. fight. The fight is completely cursed. Coming over well, doesn't actually do anything. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's not like he's bad or something for making these decisions. It's it's kind of like a team thing, I guess. But it wasn't even him the first time, too. First, first yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, but it's just one of those things. That, like, you need to have that level of trust in your team to know that, like, if on like on a good team. In this situation, CLG should, like, the people getting gangbang should be calling the people on their team to, to not come. Be like, nah, this is fucked. This is just get something else. Yeah. But, like, what will happen a lot of times is people panic. Like, help, 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 help. Yeah, they just want to be, like, a part of everything together. Mm-hmm. Can they really be doing this? Dude, come on. Come down. Dude, TP. Go, they flash it, flash it. They're overcommitting. I'm dying. Punish, collapse. Oh, well, okay, Jace is here. Oh, oh my god, they're driving, they're driving. Yo, no, come on. We have mid move. Oh, they're coming, we have TP. Oh, no, TP in. oh the cum shot. Oh, oh my 
my god, the cum shot into spider tech. Jesus. Are you MF and Medios? Medios? Medios is cum shot? I love when Medios comes. Oh. oh. Did you realize that Sivir's item is Last Whisper? Uh, no, it's Mortal Reminder. Yeah, but it's the pin item. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, it's weird to look at. I think they should have gave it a different icon like, again. <laughs> yeah, they, they should just completely change what it looks like. It's 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 weird that they're not consistent about that stuff. Because, like, I've heard in game design that, like, anytime you, like, rename an item or, like, you know, give it a new icon, you can, like, change what it does. Yeah. That was the reasoning behind, like, you know, with all the Zeke's changes and whatnot, like... That item has had so many different fucking names. Yep. It literally started out being called, like, Stark's Fervor, and it was, like, an AoE attack speed aura. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so much older than I was thinking. I mean, that's literally, it's been the same item, just changed so many times. Yeah, and it's, like, Zeke's Herald, Zeke's Convergence. But just the idea that, like, when you change the name of something, like, it's easier for people to, like, understand it's different. Yeah. But if you just completely change an item, but keep it with the same name, like this fucking mortal reminder, I don't quite understand. Yeah, like uh, I mean, it the... is a good name for an item. The healing reduction thing, mortal reminder, like you remind them that they're not immortal. Yeah, you keep the name. I can understand why the name's cool. name, but just change the icon. Literally on like the second day of the patch or whatever, when I was playing. Them dude was pinging me like this item's fucking useless, and it's like my pen item. They have armor. <laughs> just like, so, like, get a GM, just like, I think you don't realize it's not a Zeal item anymore. <laughs> just bring back Static Shiv, bro. Like, what did Static Shiv ever do wrong? <laughs> oh, no. Dokla's just running up and getting banged. Bro, he doesn't even have his Mythic yet. One item renekton in 24 minutes. on their deathbed here. Ow. Man. They're actually in hospice. They're kind of poking, but they can't stop the Baron. Malkai's not even there. They, they, they just can't kill Scion, bro. Oh! Oh, he died oh, to that? Elise goes down. Died to the pincer bite. CLG's gonna try to chase here. I don't know. I don't think this will ever end well for them. Oh my god, they're Malkai ulting this? There's, there's nothing here. There's actually nothing. Wait, Prince and Doublelift traded jerseys? Where was this? Do they swap cum stains on the jerseys? Oh, just goes in. Oh, the cum shot. Nice. Bro, CLG, if they lose this, which they probably will, that's four straight L's. That's rough. Dude, remember how I was talking about how teams have, like, I feel like winning your early matches actually just, like, kind of curses you. Because, mm -hmm. like, after CLG went 2-0, there was all these, like, interviews and stuff talking about how, like, yeah, like, we know we're one of the best teams and like, <laughs> we'll finally have to start respecting us. <laughs> was that an interview? <laughs> it's definitely a thing, though. Like, you get too cocky and then, like, you think you're just set in, like, the way that you were practicing in the off season, and, like, the first two weeks, like, kind of secure that mentality for you. Yeah. But then it turns out, like, you're not actually that good. You just kind of got lucky in some way. Yeah, or you had, like, an easy-ass schedule. The teams you're playing against were dog shit, whatever it is. Yeah. And then, like, the reality comes in, but, like, you've kind of already set in place. Yeah, you start, like, taking those things that, like, you won with in the beginning, and then the people start being like, oh, let's just go back to what we were winning with, like... But you can't even and do that like, anymore. Well, maybe you weren't even winning for a good reason. Oh my god, oh, the cum shot on Luger. Shit. It's over. He just got fucked. Palafox, do it. That's the Scion, dude. That was the full tank. He has nothing but armor. Why? <laughs> you see how he's all purple? Uh, yeah. Do you know what that's from? No. It's Jack Show when it's fully stacked. Oh. That happens to any champ? Yep. Just means they're giga tanky. 
Look at Prince's tweet. How do I find his Twitter? What? You don't follow him already? Uh, no, I haven't yet. I guess I'll double if respond to him. I just got a double lift. Ed, every AD carry is son of double lift. <laughs> oh my! Aww. Oh my God! He has the jersey. Whoa! That's wholesome. That's cute. So I'm double lift son. Holy shit! First time chat, is League popular with girls or they prefer going shopping? <laughs> uh huh. Wow. Nice. I think most of the ones I've met prefer shopping. Do you think any pro players are on Adderall? Like, just as a prescription, not like a performance enhancer? Yeah. Who? What do you mean, who? I mean, you said, yeah, confidently, so who? Who I the mean, fuck are they? Like, getting it for other reasons is not that abnormal. <laughs> getting it for the purpose of being the performance enhancer I don't, doesn't really happen in League. Maybe, Unless it's like, Loco Doco. Maybe, like, a single dude. A single Loco Doco. <laughs> Man, and, it's... It this matchup, like picking Lucian Nami into Zeri Lulu, just it's so common, but it rarely seems to go well for the Lucian Nami. Yeah, I really got right a Renekton ban. What are you trying to pick with those bans? Is that Jace? Looks like a Jace angle. Jace is uh, definitely buffed, but I don't know if he's that good. For competitive, at least. He's just one of those champs that's hard to pull off. And there he is. <clears throat> Let's see if C9 can do it. The Fiora bands. Interesting. And there it is. It's a flex. So now EG someday. Does he Surely he goes the, the humble approach. He just picks some kind of tank, right? Like Scion, Malfito. Well, I mean it's still flex. Yeah, it's not going mid, though. Oh. Why not? Because Diplex won't play it. Why not? Because it's too cringe. For him? Cassante seems good. I don't need Tristana! Whoa! Huh. Blind Tristana. What? Oh, my oh, they God! It. It's Jace Fuck. mid! Meteor All right, well, they shit. lose. GG. FF. FF, they didn't want win. They want lose, Ed. <laughs> I didn't think they were trying to lose. My bad. Can't believe you actually got outsmarted. Tristana mid as like a somewhat blind pick. Yeah. The Fook? What is the Fook? Isn't Jace good in a Cassante? They play that matchup in LCK. I, I, I think it can work, but I think you have to like really play to the lane. Like you need Jace to be ahead. If they just go even or Jace falls behind due to a gank or whatever, then I, I think it's pretty fucked. I mean, most of the time you're playing with Jace, like he needs to be the fucking superstar. Yeah. Because in a head, Jace can actually like do some fucked up things, but he will be even behind so Jace, much not so much. Oh, wow. Inspired going red smite with first strike. Actually going pure pad build. This is the rush sword boots kind of build. How? Oh, what the fuck? That hurt. He got a fucking haircut. Oh my god, a level two Maokai gank. Put him in the zone. Ain't this no clever. way they go for it. Oh! All in time! Go, 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 go! They, seem... they just do it. Just go. Flash on Berserker. There it is. Not that I want. Oh! oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what a fucking escape! Oh, he could just do that? He could just press flash? 
of summer spells for each I mean, how many Zeri's fucking <laughs> play like that? Take E level two? Whoa! <laughs> level two, dude! You're a fucking dumbass, mate. I would have taken fucking ulti level two. God damn. Ooh, this I wasn't sure Bobber was going to flash there. I don't think it's a play, though. Sante would just W and throw you into tower and die. Yeah. I wonder no. if they could do, go the whole game without getting a kill. <laughs> Who would win? Just a base race? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, both mid laners are like insane tower pushers. Wow. That barely whiffed. Oh. They have no Lucian ult. <laughs> this is just master level macro play. There's, that's why no one dies. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's really just like an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. Like they're just perfectly pairing each other's blows and Jesus. not just completely playing to not fall asleep. <laughs> the only way you die in League of Legends is by making a mistake. <laughs> a perfect player will have zero deaths ever. Uh, that's boring, dude. Stop. As soon as you die, you stop improving. What the fuck? Hold up. What just happened? What? Vulcan just walked in Blabber's face and walked away without even getting stunned. Yeah, he couldn't. How did he miss the W? Because it was a very high-level bait, like... <laughs> Vulcan knew it was it was just a bait, like it would have set everything in motion, but Blabber was smart enough to not take the bait. What the fuck? D dude, th these guys are playing four-dimensional chess. No way. You're still trying to jam the fucking square block in the triangle hole. I'm queuing up for a fucking chess match after this shit to truly understand. Do it. I've played chess for years now, and I just, like, I'm not convinced I've gotten any better. <laughs> What's holding you back? The, like, when, if I knew that, I think I would be better. I don't know. Uh, like, when you play, like, do you not self-reflect? Like, I mean, surely you do. I mean, I'm, I'm playing against shitters, so, like... Yeah, but, like, you know, it's not about what they do. It's, like, what you do. Right? It's not about what you say. <laughs> If this dude's blundering everywhere, it's like, I, I guess you just have to be able to recognize it. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. Not that I play chess, really, but. It's not, like, super clear all the time. Because mm. it's not like, I mean, it's the same thing with League, where it's like, you know, what happens in a chess game isn't the only thing that could have happened there, right? Yeah. So if you only try to, like, just take what happened in one game and bring it into your next game, like, you're not really going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. So C9 kills the Herald but can't pick it up. It's fine, dude. We're in a this zero kill game. This is actually insane that we're getting to witness a perfect game of League of Legends here. <laughs> These two Titans going at it. No mistake. deflecting each other's blowjobs. <laughs> I think you should be able to like look at someone's score like on the scoreboard at a glance and be able to roughly tell how strong they are. But with shit like, you know, Treasure Hunter, uh, fucking First Strike, all these random gold passives, turret plates, bounties, cannons. It's like, their CS and their KD is not actually that good of a reflection of like how much gold they really have. Yeah. I think they should just make CS. Like, they did it for Jungle Minions. Why do it for one thing, but not everything? So I think from like a visibility understanding thing, like... I, I, I think League abs oh big fight, hold up. Nobody's gonna die here. Okay. My mistake. They're actually disengaging. Oh it missed. No, both teams are gonna walk away. Oh. <laughs> See you what all in five minutes. Fuck Yo, let's do this again next drag. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, Blabber's dead. Holy! Ooh. Twenty minute first blood. Holy! Wait, Fudge is probably gonna die. Actually, it's two eighty carries. Never mind. 
Gojo's just gonna go back to pushing the wave. Well, right, Blabber made the mistake of trying to do something. You I guarantee all the players in this game are bored as shit, too. Yeah. Like, you should just be able to look at the scoreboard and be like, yeah, man, this guy's having a really good game. Like, he's playing really well. He's strong. And not have to, like, know what every fucking item does and all this stuff. Mm. Like, when my, like, parents and grandparents watch the game, they're like, yeah, like, I, I love supporting you, uh, and I watch your games, but I have no idea what's happening. I just look at the gold at the top, and that's how I tell who's winning. <laughs> and I think having some, like, pretty easy metric to, like, tell who's strong and who's winning is important. Yeah. It could be an easy change. But you would just shift all the numbers to be higher. So you'd have, like... Like, Tristana would be at, like, 300-something on the number right now. Yeah. At least see the shoot gold of everyone of all time. I mean, yeah. That's what Wild Rift has. Like, you can just see their gold, which I think it's fine. It works. You could just see that. The only thing, you too, is, like, you kind of want to see it in-game. But not just, like, a viewer overlay. Oh. He fucking stunned him or what? He was actually fine. He just didn't use anything. I think he tried to poly, <laughs> but like died at the last second of it. That's so whack, actually. <laughs> Flash heal alt available. Nah, whatever. Fuck it. I'm going down here, boys. I need to recall anyway. I'll get the home guards at a base. It's cool. <laughs> nice little 300 gold delivery. Legit, bro. This is C9 versus EG, bro. This is like two aggressive teams. They should be fucking doing shit. Yeah. Fucking channers. Fuck scaling they, champs. Like, there's not even just tension, it, by the bro. way. It's, it's not even tension. It's just neither side is really doing anything. Just chilling. Like, most of the time, when you see, like, high-level teams have a game like this, it's pretty tense. Oh, they're yeah. hitting Baron. They can't even see. They have a blue orb on Zeri. They, they call they for it. They have to expect it, man. If you let someone sneak Baron and oh my day god, age, you're just a fucking troll. It's dead. It's actually gone. It's already gone. Wow. Nah. Nah. They didn't even what the sniff fuck's it. Happening, bro? How did they not sniff it? Nobody's on top wave. Nobody's on mid wave. I mean, just the fact that Baron's up, like, it's yeah. so easy to kill. That was pretty troll. This game's over, bro. Well, probably yep. not. But About time. Triss mid? Getting away like this? Against Jace? There's not really a champ that'll just kill him without being fed himself. Yeah. Where do you go here, PD? It's very grim. Hey, I, I, I mean, yeah, I think he's going BT, yeah. What? I mean, he should have been planning on BT. True. Like, blocking poke from Chase, making him in useless? Yep. And then he can just play like Man, a psycho. buffing BT and overheal at the same time, I feel, I feel like that's the shit that makes the game lame. AD carries are just... I mean... You can't, like, poke them out, and you can't all in them. It's just it, like, alright. It's weird, though. Like, it hasn't even really had an effect on the game. Yeah, I mean, it... Literally, the overheal buffs were not out. Yeah, they yeah. just came out. But, like, BT being buffed? Like, it's barely done anything in terms of splashing. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just a feel-good thing, if anything. Like, I don't think it's OP. Like, sure, yeah, if the dude gets a yeah, lot of gold. It, like, I don't even think it's good. It just feels nice. I played more mid than AD! <laughs> it just feels really good to be unkillable and kill everyone with undodgeable autos. <laughs> Somewhat related, do you know when the Cyberpunk 2077 DLC comes out? I think it's just here. Oh, wow, that clears that right up. Well. When this year, dumbass? <laughs> I don't have a date. Oh, my God, Blabber's dying of boredom. Jace full missed EQ. I mean, they can't really go anymore. Like, was there nothing you could have picked mid this game to counter Trist blind? This was an actual Tristana blind pick. Well, they picked Jace already. 
So that yeah, would be made a good top. Send the fucking Jace top and pick something else mid. Al Cali. GG. Dude. Actual GG. Because you didn't get any kills in that five flowers, I know that's why you're looking There was no date aside from 2023 for Cyberpunk. Get fucked, Medios. Dumbass. That clears that up. Dumbass. Let's see, he was alright. Alright, Baron's dead. Yay. Oh, can the Winkster get in? Nope. Yay. Another Baron goes down. More Barons killed than champions. <laughs> well, currently it's even. Oh! Oh! Junglers go down. Berserker goes down. Fudge gonna go down. Duplex oh. dying. Oh, hold up. Oh. Triss dies oh. now. All oh, Fudge low key slow stroke. Fudgy, Fudgy. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, he's gonna live. He's gonna live. What the fuck? Fudgy. Oh my goodness. He's out. Oh. He's out. Go back in, go back in, kill him. Okay, okay. Thank God, Fudge, breathing some life into this fucking game. Both for C9 and the viewers. <laughs> yes. Thank God. Literally falling asleep in my chair. Well, not actually, but... So what happened to JoJo? How did mentally. JoJo get banged? I think they just thought it was a cleanup fight, because he was in there. Like, Berserker got... Dick fucked. Look at him. Dick fucked. He so, e he eats out and he comes back in. Giga. Jojo jumps into Gwen. Yeah. But then they Knocked kill Berserker here. He's still fine. He's untouched at the moment. Has Sejuani passive on him. Nope, it's gone. So he flashes in. He, he on could have jumped Jace. out. Okay, so he, he just gets banged by Jay's pretty much. While being on top of a Zonia Gwen. He absolutely did not need to go in there. Right, he, I, he was just greeting, I think. Probably thought it was over. Yeah. Fudge is so close to the monitor. <laughs> Sniffing the monitor. Tristana does seem like one of those champs, though, that'll be really good with the item changes. Not necessarily mid, but like probably bot. Yeah, she she goes crazy once she gets IE, but usually just her one like between one and three items is pretty fucking limp. Yeah. Yeah, he's just got a one thousand health shield, guys. You'd be having a thick shield in triple ocean. The explosive shot just helps him destroy him before the demolish proc is even ready to be used. And now the inhibitors in his sight. Jojo providing the DPS still. With the minion waves being thinned out. The fudge coming around from the flank after using the TP. I feel like this doesn't look very good. Oh, I just kind of... Ah, what the fuck? Not a good old... It fucking hurt FBI, though. Yeah, but now it doesn't have all. Yeah, I mean, they can't really engage. You have no idea who's going to win? Why? It's EG. Because I told you that 20 minutes ago. Okay, not really. How about when that Baron was taken? The game was over. Yeah. Completely even game. A team just picks up Baron for nothing. Yeah, that was... I mean... It legit stemmed off of Zven just fucking for fun dying to Tristana right beforehand. Yep. So they had no vision. The old TP into recall strat? <laughs> they don't see where they are. They need to be ready for the mid push. <laughs> That'd be funny as fuck, actually. Ooh. Oh, big chunk. Now he's full HP. And he's full. At Sneaky, watch the next team fight. Uh, okay, dude. <laughs> sure, man. I can do that for you. What the f- Blabber just moved in stopwatch. He will not yield. What the hell? 
Okay, I watched the next team fight. Now what? Ichi wins. Four ocean dragons, ocean soul, and still people die instantly. Let's go next game. Oh. Oh my Blabber's actually God. just going in with no chance of anything happening. <laughs> oh no, he didn't get the push W early. Bro, Jason's popping off. Yeah, he's doing a lot here. Ooh, he's smashing Maokai. Why is Berserk, Berserk has four items, but it still feels like he's doing legitimately nothing. Oh, he almost killed Lucian. Oh. Oh. Well, that was pretty painful. Bro, how could I lose on Jace like this? Man. You haven't been practicing him. You're right. I only played one game. He saw that I played one game and he thought it was OP. Hold up. My food's here. I'm going to go grab it. Sure. That was a weird game. Like, C9 was comfortable scaling and they just fucking lost. So now they're going to review this game and be like, maybe we shouldn't be comfortable just scaling. But like, I don't, I don't even know if it's objectively wrong either. Because, like, I think in theory, you play that again, you have the first 20 minutes play out the exact same way. But then you don't give them the Baron for free. The game looks totally different. They legit went up, like, 4 or 5k gold from the fucking Baron. But, I mean, they did... They did lose that, uh... The little fight before. Where first blood happened. No one else died. Like, the second death of the game was fucking Sven on Lulu. That even facilitated the Baron dying. I mean, I don't think... Like, Sven's mistake it shouldn't even lead to what it did. They just... They literally didn't think about Baron dying. That's all it was. If they thought about it dying, then they totally could have stopped it. They just fucking didn't shrudge. I don't know. An incredible moment between Double Lift and Prince. Oh wow, thank you, bro. Thank you. You're so good. You actually I'm most ner nervous now. Really? Really? Oh no, it's okay, bro. It's good. It's nice to meet you. It's okay, little bro. Thank you, little bro. <laughs> oh my god, no he cried. It's really fun, actually, playing against you. Wow. Feel no, strong, okay. man. That's awesome, bro. I'm really happy, actually. Oh, no. Hmm? I can't, I can't hold this yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I, I'll, I'll, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Because we're out of the He has We'll make a meme out of that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. Respect. Thank you. Really nice to meet you. Oh, swap. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Really, no, seriously. No, but seriously. No, but seriously. All right. Help me settle a debate. Okay. Are you supposed to wash your socks or throw them out after using them? You're supposed to come in them. What? I thought it was obvious. All right. Well, how about chat? Yeah, I'm sure you'll get a serious answer to your stupid as fuck question. Thanks, dude. Stupid as fuck question. You dumb piece of shit. Do you even have a real life? Are you even human? How do we Holy know you're not AI? Fuck. You're literally a deep fake. I fucking this knew it. This question really got to sneaky. Good God. I knew you were a deep fake this whole time. What if you could make a deep fake AI that just... No one could tell it wasn't you, and you would just, like, let it stream 24-7, and you reap the benefits. Sure. Uh, what, about, what about these drafts? Uh, well, they did pick some champions. 
Can Summit prove he's more than just a dirty enter? <laughs> Find out now. Wait, he's finally... Is this is his first Cassante, no? Yeah. Every other game thus far has been Renekton. It's... All right, I don't know about that, but pretty hard <laughs> to die as Cassante. <laughs> I would beg to differ. We did see Impact manage to do it. I beg to differ. Oh, I beg to differ. Oh, they're getting worked. Playing Kate Lux and getting legit milked. Not a good look, unfortunately. I do fear. I don't think they're cows, Medios. How are they getting milked exactly? Just karma cues, Ezreal cues, down three health pots before level two. Unlucky. Oh. Getting giga pushed in. Giga pushed. Fisherman Jax. Fisher Price Jax. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, he did. Oh, wow. Santorin. He fucking Q flash a little bit, but they still get him. <laughs> Clapped his ass. Wait, he has dematerializer? Yeah, I thought he was almost full build. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're looking at a dive coming in here. Core using his mantra Q a little early. Let's see if they can make this work anyway. Piosic gonna oh. tank. And... Oh, that's it. Clean that was a little one too easy. Actually, no this, cleanse against Melkai. No cap, though. Dick's bot lane has been nothing but a giga liability. Anywhere from soft to hard inting every game. Dude, do you have something against Biofrost? No, Biofrost is cool. you have something against him, little bro? No. You gonna shit talk him like that? He's won more LCS splits than you have. Sit down, little bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Even if Spawn had cleansed, he'd still die here, but... Could he have made it close? Bro, like, Maybe he wasn't just getting perma-pwned on turret. Why? Wait, I'm going back. Why did Yon take so long to take aggro? Like... Do you see that? That was fucked up. It's because on Ezreal, if you if you have your W on someone and you E it, it doesn't give you turret aggro. No, I, I think so it he, wasn't until the auto. I think he timed it well. I don't know if that was on purpose, though. I think it was. Like, he did it right as the turret shot the minion. So, like, it took so fucking long for the turret to start shooting him. Mm. I mean, you, you do that for CSing, but I've never seen someone try and do that for a dive. Oh, Jensen gets out. And he gets Piosik's flash, actually. Pretty good. Pretty good. How do we feel about first picking Caitlyn and losing our fucking turret at six minutes, huh? How do we feel about that? <laughs> well, Caitlyn was a flex pick. Biofrost could have gone anything, including Caitlyn's support. Like, this can't be how the matchup goes. I don't know. Kind of relies on Lux, I think. And, I mean, like, it's on both so sides. So you're the one who's hitting Biofrost. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, Karma Mantra Q is guaranteed, right? But it doesn't have to hit both, okay? Lux is... How is it guaranteed? It's a skill shot. You legit can't miss unless you fucking lost your hands. And your mouse disconnected. Hmm. I mean, you can miss Karma Q, but like, it's really on you. Like, you can position yourself to make it near impossible to miss. It, like, if they, if they use a skill to dodge it, it's different. I'm talking like they use nothing but movement, and you miss, it's on you. Hmm. Whereas, so you could queue up for Karma support right now and hit every single Q in lane unless they flash it. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's see it. It's coming. After this, queue it up. Mantra queue, by the way. Yeah, mantra queue. 
Mantra, cue it up. Yep. Pussy. That's how it goes. Oh. Jensen, shoot the Maokai ult. Why is Jensen not Maokai ulting? There it is. Now he's got the angle. Oh. He's very patient with it, but it was oh too patient. My. Oh my god, two kills for Victor. This is not a good look. Oh wait, Summit. Uh, kind of running oh! it. Oh, just kidding. It's Cassante. Oh, it's 2P, man. Oh, my God. He's combo God. very strangely there. Oh, oh, my God. Armut. Okay. Oh, God. Just, oh, God. That's a fed ass victor. I was going to say a 4 0 fucking wipe, but Armut brought one back at least. Almost two. Yeah. Dig needs to write Sneaky a blink check. I agree. <laughs> What is Jax's second kill from? Who did he kill? Like, he just got Karma, and then what? Did he last hit the Maokai or something? Yeah. Okay. That had to have been it. Santoro got the first blood. Yeah. Okay. I thought I thought only Karma died there. <laughs> Didn't realize Maokai died. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, that, that's how it all started. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Jensen flashing and getting knocked back into the stun. Oh, it's getting cc for days. The stopwatch comes out. They can turn it. Jensen! Oh no! my they don't god. Get it. Oh, oh, does Santorin go down too? No. Oh. Wow. Actually unlucky. I mean, to be fair, Jensen's build is not actually strong for fighting. He's doing Q Max first strike and going Rod of Ages. I feel like oh, normally you see the oh, ever yikes. cross when you're doing the Q Max. Yeah. You're right. A blank check means the person receiving it writes how much money they should get, meaning any price they want. Whoa, dude. Thanks for that mansplanation. <laughs> well, he just assumed you were stupid. Is he wrong? No. Okay. He's totally right. <laughs> Wait, but yeah, that that's true. As soon as you write a number, it's no longer a blank check anymore. <laughs> Isn't that just a piece of paper? Dude. <laughs> you got him. <gasps> oh my He's god, wrong. they see the fucking thing on his thing. On the cannon, man. The thing on the thing. And they're just going to throw the herald down like this? I feel for Sandorin. I've been on lower tier teams before and does not feel nice. What? He doesn't have oh ult. Wait. Oh my. I'm going to be God, sick. God, dude. I don't do that. No fucking way. <laughs> wow, that was not good. And Summit will kill himself. What? Bro. Is Summit actually good? No, he's trash. I Like, I don't know, dude. He has this reputation for being crazy good, and he makes so many fucking grief plays. Like, he must be doing something really well to have this reputation. Like, I, I, like, I think he was... 1v1 was crazy or something? He, he was good before he came to an A, and then he was good when he came to an A, and then he just fucking... Fell off a cliff for whatever reason, like the playoff shit. Uh huh. And that's just been his rep ever since. It's so weird. I don't know what's happening to him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that oh. wasn't even. Bio Daddy getting jumped on here has flash. Can he use oh. it? He's gone. That wasn't even respecting Jungle Gang. Like, he 2v1'd him, and then he just decided to go in and kill himself. <laughs> Nobody asked for it. Legit. 550 gold bounty. He just said, fuck it, dude. I'll die. Wait, holy fuck. Dig's down 5k. Dude, what the fuck is Dignitas, though? But actually... <laughs> the bot lane's down 2.2k on Ez. 1k on Karma Lux. Jensen's down almost 2k. Like, Spawn's a rookie. I'm not trying to, like, shit on him too badly, but, like, is he actually LCS ready? Because he hasn't really looked good in any game. Uh, I, like, the, the problem is just... 
I mean, they're, they're getting, like, legit gapped bot every game. Do, do we give them the the blanket safety net of, like, Ignore's not here, so they're bad? I mean, that's part of it, but, like, that's not... But, like, but even is it, though, is the real question. I feel like it's not. I mean, I, I, I think that you definitely deserve some level of understanding if you don't have your full roster. Like, if you have a visa issue that sucks balls, is going to be a negative effect, but I don't think it's, like, the reason they're getting shit on. But, like, Fly they, they just... is under the same thing, and they're, like, haven't lost yet. Yeah, I know. But it, it also just depends, like, team by team, like, what role. Like, if it's, if Ignar is, like, the shot caller, like, biggest voice in the team, and he's not there, and they have someone else filling for that guy who's going to be the biggest voice, that's going to be weird. Yeah. I don't know if that's the case or anything, but... Were they... Like, does anyone know if they'd been practicing with Ignar? And then they were like, oh, fuck, like, we can't get him? Have you talked to Jensen at all? No. Why? I don't know. Insight into how team's doing, maybe? Mm. Yeah, I don't really talk to people, so that's kind of hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Said and the entirety the of the time I've known Sneaky, like almost 10 years, I think he's <laughs> messaged me first like once. And I was like, "It's did he fucking die in someone's on his PC? <laughs> it's true. I'm just in the gamer zone all the time. Wicked. He's just so selfish. So selfless thinking about his games. And the people he's currently playing with, giving them his full attention. So they just feel yeah, supported. Yeah, I didn't say selfless, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that single-player game needs all my attention. <laughs> what? My friends in Persona need help. What do you mean? Yeah. They're going to be taken over by the shadows. Like, if I, if I can't beat this game that came out 20 years ago, then who will? <laughs> oh, Harry running it the fuck down. Another big shutdown for Armut. 850 gold. Hmm. Do they need the base here? Why not just keep pushing top together and get the turret? Mm. That would just be too smart, Midios, and we don't do that around here. I mean, legit, though, I feel like you just... Like, what, to me, what says a good team is you just, like, are able to read the map well and just tell, like, what you can go for, because if they don't get this top turret, if all they get out of that is, like, the shutdown and then they give dragon for what? Yeah, yeah, they just push they're out They're actually using their tempo to just farm. Yeah. This this is an objective bounty. I would be, like, jizzing myself over this. I'd be like, yo, like, somebody hold bottom. I don't think they're going to go for the turret. Like, Jax can stay. Keep him on the map. Yeah. Like, just no Sidiwani, Silas, Jax, all, literally all just push shop together. Get the tower. Someone bot lane can hold bot if they're pushing it. Someone can, like, shift down mid if they need to. Like, just be flexible with who's going where and... Just get as much as you can. Armin has a BF sword. What the fuck is he doing with that? It's squeezy. He's going Shojin, but why that one first? Dude? Is he building Infinity yet? He doesn't even have 20%. Dig uh -oh. full engaging onto Maokai, getting him to about 40% health. Flanked by Cassante here. Uh -oh. I was suddenly going to play this. Alright, Spawn's fucking dead. Yeah, that wasn't close at all. Their whole team is dead, actually. I'll take that back. My lord, dude. They, they never stood a chance. It wasn't This even version of close. Dig legit looks worse than they did, like, last year. Yeah. Somehow. It's just, like... It's not even the players. Like, obviously, Jensen Santorin are, like, very good players. Something about the way they're all coming together on this team, though, is just making them all look horrible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think this international experience getting to play against an LCK team will probably help them a bit. But it's still looking rough. Uh, uh. LCK team, you say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at Spawn's items, bro. He had what? Gale and a fucking... A dick axe. Dick axe? 
Like, I just, I don't understand what this play is. They initiated on Maokai, did zero damage, get flanked. The bot lane, for some reason, goes down. They actually would have killed Victor. If they oh, all why up. didn't they go on Victor? Yeah, I mean, like, they did, but not the bot lane. No, they, they didn't kill Victor. They went on him. But they didn't kill him. Probably because the bot lane didn't help. Balling looked like they didn't read the situation. There's not going to be that follow up to really ever get anything more. And you can see the frustration there on Armut's face. Yeah, I don't know. The way this game is heading. Uh, it's heading that way very, very quickly. Dignitas' bot lane looks extremely outclassed in every game. Yeah. And that is very hard to play with. The unfortunate truth. Yeah. Honestly, like, if, if I was Dig's coach, I would just literally put all my eggs in like the santor and jensen basket just be like just fucking giga spam gank mid and then try to move around together never touch know, another like, lane does jensen play that style like pushing and moving a lot mm, i mean it's kind of hard to do that i guess silas would be one of them that can i mean if if you have like a jungler sitting on your balls and you're playing Salus against Victor, you definitely should get windows. And then what, dive top? Yeah, I mean, anything. Like, fuck their jungler. Try to kill their mid laner. Like, at least, maybe not play to bottom lane, but at least, like, relieve some pressure so that, like, it's harder for the other team to shit on them. Or if they do shit on them, you, like, come and clean up afterwards. Uh -huh. Oh my god, the traps. Their games are just actually depressing. Yeah. Like, Kate's one and a half items at 24 minutes. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking This useless. was their first pick, by the way. This was Freak. Freak's vision was to give you IE at least in a losing game. Nope. And he couldn't even make it. All right, let's, let's go back to the early game. How did this bot lane get so cucked so early? They don't show bot lane, by the way. Like, you can only watch the mini map. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm literally just looking at the map. But, I mean, it, it, it looks like they get to lane at the same time. Can you really not get pushed? Just brute force it? No, you easily. Kar Karma pushes really hard, but, like, Lux Kate will easily out push. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, can Kate Lux? Because, like, okay, so they show bot oh, wait, wait, wait. on the first I, wave. I, I, I found it. Uh, 152. Yeah, yeah. That's... You, remember, you remember what I said about Mantra? Uh-huh. You... That one Literally, Q just wins them the game. You cannot miss it, but you should never get double hit. Getting double hits troll as fuck. Uh huh. But but they get double hit, so they just. I mean, they don't lose the game off this, but they'll be, lose all pressure for sure. I feel like in the Kate versus Ezreal matchup, it's like whichever one has push is going to have a massive advantage. Yeah, but Ezreal can't get the push. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unless Physically I, I don't not know. Possible. Unless this happens. Unless it digs wild in. Yeah. I think it's seriously outplayed. Then yep. Legit spawn. use every health pot. They're just so destroyed. It's crazy. Alright, so if if I'm dig from now on, I'm not trusting my bot lane to do anything. Uh, I, like, put them on the most brainless champs that just can't hard lose. Ezreal. Like, Ash... I wouldn't want yeah. Ezreal because he has to actually like do something to be useful, like a utility champ, like poke Varus type stuff. Ash, Ziggs, <laughs> sure, dude. Like, yeah, just someone who's work. going to provide. Like, I think Ash is ideal, but I don't know if you're gonna get Ash. Like, yeah, like like a Seraphine type lane. Yeah, like, because mm. honestly, say Dig has trust in their bot lane. Like with this start, what we've seen a lot of junglers do is just level two or level three gank bottom, right? Like, if TL's bot lane's actually getting the push, because if I'm Santorin and I know there's this bot lane matchup, like, the early push matters so much. You should absolutely, like, at least look to level 3 gank it. 528. Santorin, like, killed mid with Jensen a bit ago. And then he comes back and he's, like, looking river. And then he, he thinks Maokai's in the bush or some shit. Like, he just W's the bush. And there ends up being a ward in there, and he can't clear because he doesn't have sweeper. So then he just is shilling himself and just jacking off. Yeah. 
legit does nothing here. Like, it's actually so bad. Ezreal emotes him, and then that show gives Maokai the window to go on Jensen. Santorin shouldn't just randomly show for nothing. That gives Maokai the window to look for something. But he Jensen also shouldn't just die to a victor. I guess he didn't die, he flashed, but... Yeah, he just flashed. Yeah, I mean, it is, this is... Whatever. The falling thing doesn't necessarily snowball. I mean, like, they're getting plates and Ez is ahead. Like, Ez is giga ahead, but... Doesn't really seem game ending. Bro, like, the 8 minute fight for Harold is so bad, actually. Like, they make it look like Maokai is caught because he is. He has no flash. But, like, they have no fucking damage. They go on him, they just do nothing. He takes forever to die. Victor's ult just hits on them. Yeah, so, okay, looking at it again, it's. Like, I don't know what's being said here, but what it looks like is, so Diggs bot lane actually does get a timing to crash the wave here, like 747. And to me, that is why they're going for the Herald here, because yeah. they have the bot crash, but, like, Diggs bot lane doesn't actually move. And Lux gets there first, but, yeah. I mean, like, Kate stays. Yeah, Kate could have came up. Probably should have, just given the game state. But, I mean, like, you can't... You can't really know, like, if yeah. something's actually going to happen that's good for you. No, that's true. Like, Lux does get there first still, so it's not horrible or anything. Yeah. They just take like, so long to kill Maokai. And, I mean, they get fucked while doing this, too. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it, it's such a weird fight to watch, because I feel like on paper, Dig should win this fight. If they had damage, like, I think it's their item choices, isn't it? Like, yeah, it, it is. Look at Jensen. I, I think purely based on... Maybe both of them, too. But, like, Jensen item, Merc Tread, is the only item he has. Other yet, Dark Seal and Doran Shield. Mm. Like, he has legit no damage. If he had actually had damage, I think Piosic dies. Uh-huh. When they go on him. And then, and then none of this happens. Yeah. Cause he takes so fucking long to get killed. True. So weird to watch this. I keep watching and just they actually just get banged. I think. Like okay, we go even further back. Like I was saying, I don't think you ever start Harold here, Sin Thorn. Like sure, your bot has pushed, but I don't think that's a condition that matters here. Yeah, I mean, like and so you, you would only beat. do it like this if Kate was coming. Yeah. Like, if Kate's going to full rotate and you're just committing to the Herald, then you can do this. It's fine. Uh, but I think what he also could have done is, like, when Summit's walking down, you just collapse on Summit. Like, you just walk at him and start hitting him. And then yeah, Armit comes and sandwiches him. him. You make and you ha you, like, you'll have mid move. Top will follow. That should... Can punish Summit for walking down like that. Revenge Narmut. Nar? Holy zero percent win rate. I mean, I guess it's Turd Necton. Oh. All right, now let's see what you are cooking, Golden Guardians. You're blinding your mid and one of your bot laners. So you've got Silas and Nar makes sense. Pretty good alls for him to take. What is being crafted Now, is it going to be Callista support or Callista AD carry? Set support? Callista AD carry? Ooh, I don't like this. Just go next. Renata. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Just go fucking next. I think Golden Guardians is legit relying on hard snowballing the game to win. IMT, I think, can just pick some kind of control mage. Ooh, Talia. I don't know about that. Ooh. I feel like Victor or some shit would have been better. I just, I, I feel like Talia doesn't do enough damage right now. I think she's actually so nerfed. The Bjergsen games have looked pretty limp. I mean, they're like, it, the only way she does good damage is if she gets extremely ahead. Yeah. Dig is legit 06, bro. That's very surprising. <laughs> I put them like middle of the pack, like maybe even top. Top five. 
I, I think middle of the pack sounded fine. Pre-season. I think Stixay created the first meta Callista build with Runans. I think I remember that. Uh, that was me, dumb fuck. <laughs> oh, was it? Yep. Huh. You stupid fucking clown. <laughs> you piece. Who the fuck typed that? <laughs> I don't know. I think they sounded right. <laughs> Well, the name does start with an S. I'll give you that. Not like you really care. Dude, you know, Kalissa's release was so... Wait, wait hold on. We're getting a dive. Okay. Oh, They're playing it, it in the rough. weirdest way possible. That was pretty shit. That was horrible. No, so like on Kalissa's release, she was so bugged that like multiple spears in the same target like didn't even add damage so like every time you push e just did the same damage as 20 spears in a dude this was like first couple days i mean that sounds like she shouldn't have been released yeah it, it was fucking weird and then like so like people were just maxing q because of it but like nobody fucking knew they're like this champ is so weird uh, i actually feel like the way licorice played this was decent i think river Kind of trolled the shit out of it. Just, I mean, it looks like Licorice has to die, though, doesn't it? I mean, if he doesn't have E, maybe. Yeah. But like, they they have to they have to, oh, they have to go before he turns Mega, and he was about to turn Mega. Another dive. Oh my God, Six A. Is that real? I don't think it's real. Oh my God, it is. Holy. Wow. Oh, 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 oh no shot bro wait 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 wait, 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 wait he snapped wait, wait, wait. his spears early two more autos one more auto okay Get some. all right all right well this is definitely what you like when you're playing golden guardians comps i like the aggression yeah it's I, not that clean for them but this is absolutely what you need to be doing Just, i am surprised it worked that was good that went pretty well that was a fucking huge wave bottom that they missed six eight two kills and a plate yep like, if there's any North American AD carry on Callista who I trust to carry, it is Stix A. <laughs> the Big Dix A. <laughs> the Big Dix A. This is reminiscent to when he first came in on Dick and people yeah. were so excited for him, where it's like gank top, gank bot, re gank, just constantly putting on that pressure. Uh, can be, you know, trying to answer it. Dude, River's not farming, bro. He's going from top dive to bot dive <laughs> to top dive. <laughs> Wait, which honestly, I like. It. Oh, good wait, why cover is by Nami here? here. They recognize this threat. What the fuck? Oh, okay, they see each other. That's good. That that's good team play. Yep. Rather than calling Kenvi to be like the only one who can defend. Like, oh, Nami has a timer. I think actually what Kong farm. allowed the chase to work is the Renata W, the bonus move speed. Mm -hmm. Chasing. He actually wouldn't kill without it. was quite lucky. It was so close. Oh. I think that was Triumph on Kenvi that gave him enough health to not get rended. Yeah, like to not get the reset on it. Pretty unlucky. Mm -hmm. Really, really good about his position in this game. And for Stixen, who Stixen was the first Jin main too. <laughs> I've always liked Stixen. He was the first person to make Jin shine in the LCS. Uh, and really revolutionized the scene. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Stop, dude. I was gonna be the first guy to play Jin, and then fucking I think like Prey played it. Or some shit. Competitive. That's how I felt about Jungle Elise in like season three. I remember where like I was asked to sub for Dignitas. Oh yeah. And then I, I couldn't also play in the amateur sit thing with C9, so they got DJ Combo instead, and he legit learned how to play Elise for me, and then he played it in LCS, and I was kind of like pissed at him. I was like, bro, I taught you how to play Elise. I literally recommended you for the, the slot, and you went and just 
debuted my pick. Did him like that. He did shit the bed though, so like it wasn't <laughs> the worst thing ever. But so still, dude, reserved. I was like, I, that was I was literally cooking it up. Mm -hmm. I got baited by the Renekton pick to vote IMT. I don't know, like. I would still feel fine if I'm IMT right here. Golden Guardians is so heavily invested in early game comp. Yeah. Game like, I mean, they were making fine. good plays, but like you have to keep doing that all game and like just actually shit on them. You throw like once. I mean, even now, like with what they have, I feel like they have their plays haven't been clean enough to just win. But this game is Six totally fine. Fed, maybe for sure. you can carry. Mm -hmm. But you love to see NAR players actually use Renekton really is such a strange case in pro play, dude. Like, I feel like he gets more hate than he deserves. Like, I don't think he's a terrible champ, but, like, he does do fucking bad a lot of the time. <laughs> Makes sense, though. I mean, he's a fucking early game, not scaling dude in the top lane that's a bruiser, not even a tank. Like, he, a very limited CC. Yeah. I think it's, like... The reason people pick him is to just like have something that's like not gonna get completely shit on. Yeah. And it's like your average will just be like a small L. But I feel like Orn by default would just be better for that. Oh. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. Ooh. Got fucking caught. Damn. Six eight dodge that Nami wave by like an inch. Ooh. I do like the Prowler Claw attack on Renekton, though. Like, I think that's actually a good way to play him. I think, especially if you're playing to his lane, which honestly is a good way to play with Renekton. Like, you just take advantage of the fact that he's strong as fucking lane. Has go, go for the big bang best. one shot. Yeah, I mean, he's like literally the best kill setup of like any laner. Mm -hmm. Can dash on you twice and then target stun you for a second and a half and one shot you. True. What, like, you want ramping runes? Like, conquer and shit? Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have stuff like that. I mean, because if you just take, like, all the front-loaded burst things, like, all the items, all the runes on everyone, like, you get into those weird situations where you're just running, like, you know, Scorch, Electrocute, fucking uh, Alternator, and you're just killing people in really weird ways. Like, it's not really just you playing your champion. It's just cheesing the shit out of people. Uh-huh. Are we getting Third the fight? Dragon. Oh, this Are we looks getting like a decent it? engage. Nope. Oh, okay. Golden Guardians fumbled it. Just just get out. This is IMT's chance. Can you capitalize? What can you do off this? Silas with Narl. the engage. Are we running to Baron? Are we chasing them down? Are we pushing mid? We have no mid wave. What do we do? I think they run to Baron, no? I guess they use Wukong all... Golden Guardians is pretty healthy and still here. Yeah, I mean, Sedge was chunked, and they used Renata, yeah. Sedge, Necked, and all. Oh. Ooh, yikes. This looks not good for IMT. Two fucking Gnarlts come in. Barely gets that. Dude, they're actually playing Aram. <laughs> oh my god, a Blaze Olive just went for the hero play and absolutely oh. whiffed. All right, looks like they will get the mid turret in the day. Fortunately, Silas stream can buffered. just use Narl? Wait, Silas doesn't have to go Mega Silas for it? What the fuck? <laughs> Mega Silas. That's so OP. Yeah, I mean, Silas with Narl is actually insane. That's like... One of the things that will like bring Silas back into the meta is like when Nar's being picked. Yes. They just straight blinded Silas this game because they knew they had Narl at least. Yep. Like Silas would be a cooler pick if he was like really strong when he steals enemies' ults. But like most of the time when he's being played, he's just a good ass pick anyway. Mm. Kind of regardless of what ults he can take. Yeah. All right. Well, Golden Guardians gets a kill, starts up the Baron. They have Callista secure. Uh oh. Ooh, he's wild in a little bit. Why does Licorice look like that? 
Holy shit. Tactical full on face checking uh, the croc. No one else will, so I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going in. Wow. Oh! Licorice with the re engage? Shit, wait, you're Not so ahead of me. <laughs> How? My stream buffered. Oh, what are you at? 34. Five. What's your timer? I, I do kind of like the Radiant Virtue Grenectin, though. I feel like that... Oh, yeah, he did this last time, I mean, time too. obviously, it's getting changed. This is, like, the last game you'll see this shit. I don't know if it's going to be good after, but... He likes haste, helps his team out, makes him pretty beefy. Ooh! This is an Elder. Or, I mean, a soul. Wait. Oh, my God, it was close. Uh... -oh. <laughs> Uh, that was a flash into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is pain. Oops. Oh. Oh no, who he? Oh. Oh, so close. It was. Holy shit! Radiant virtue necked it. Wait, so there, there is no diminishing return between two radiants right now. Nope. That's cringe. The healing and the haste stacks. That's absurdly cringe. Yep. I mean, they're, the haste is just gone next patch. I think that's like a pretty huge nerf to the item. The gold cost and the haste gun. So it's just a healing item now. Mm. And a longer cooldown. Like, I, I haven't played around much with it yet, but it seems like a fat L. Ugh. I saw Freak tweet something about it. Said it was definitely weaker in supports, but about the same on tanks or whatever. Mm. Silas seems like a champion High would like if if he were still around today. <laughs> if High were still with us today, <laughs> you make it sound like he fucking died. <laughs> no, he said if he were here today. <laughs> Rest in peace, Doesn't high. it, though? Dude, his champ pool was like fizz and... Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely just like a fucking playmaking champ you can just go in on. Yep. Just full send it. Full suicide. Don't care. Yep. Oh, River getting kind of caught. Gory's Lucian ulting in the back lane. Oh, my word. GG. And Golden Guardians have done it. Respect, actually. They picked an early game comp. They played aggressively. They made... Oh! oh! My God. He says, get back here. I'm not done with you, you little shit. He fucking caught his ass. Sheesh. Does this boy dig two games behind the next team? Yep. Oh my word, that's not a good look, mate. Back to back no, dude, he's Majai's. What the fuck? He lost the stacks, man. Why is no one playing Vex, dude? I want some Vex gameplay. She's aight. Solid game from Golden Guardians. Love to see it. Yeah. They Not were, perfect. They were ahead, and they kept it. I mean, they, they got it by being aggressive. They didn't just try to outscale. They didn't try to just do nothing. Yeah, they dove top, dove bot. Tried, dove to, dive, top. tried to dive top again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. GG, Sneaky. Aight. I will see you next week. True. Peace out, bro. See ya.